Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the special without Brett Davis! <laughs> Appearing tonight, Corporal! Yeah! Musical guest, Jerry Paper! <laughs> and now it's Kelsey Lately! <laughs> and please welcome your host, Chelsea Grammer! <laughs> hello! Hello! Yes! Oh, hello! Good sir! Yes! Bien! Bien do! Yes! Oh, come on! Yes! Oh! You're too kind! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, goodness gracious! You're far too kind! Bien do! Oh, my goodness! Hello! Oh, well, I guess I could leave now, huh? Right? Uh, it is I, uh, star of stage. <laughs> and screen. Kelsey Grammer. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I am getting into the world of late night talk shows. I thought Letterman leaving, there's a wide open gap that I could fill with my own brand of charm and reverence. <laughs> uh, and just, just to make matters clear, uh, Eminem didn't invite me because of the cachet my name carries in this town. <laughs> Nor am I doing this as a, uh, a, a sad attempt to garner attention when I've got controversies abound. No. Uh, in fact, I'm here because I love the art of comedy. And it's such a big element of hosting a late night talk show. I mean, Mr. Jokes, I believe you have a, a joke of the week. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Yes, come on, yes. <laughs> Yes. Crowd. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's for you. I'm. I'm sorry. I forget. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as you know, Kelsey, uh, I'm a complicated man. I go to the therapist. Oh. Now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it's a bad sign when your therapist's couch is made of repressed memory foam. <laughs> oh. Oh yes. Oh. I love this crowd! Oh, yes! Oh, that, what a, what a fitting joke for the star of Fraser. Thank you, Mary. Um, you know, I, I have to say, I have great respect for people that perform the art of comedy. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. Bill Hicks, <laughs> for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I believe it was Oscar Wilde who said, laughter is not at all bad beginning for a friendship, and it is far the best ending for one. And I think this is going to be a long-lasting friendship, and I bow to you. Uh, thank you, Kelsey. Yes. Uh, uh, welcome. Be off! Be off! <laughs> well, yes! <laughs> be off! No, some, sometimes there'll be like a guy on the phone, like in the Oh, phone. yes, yeah. taking calls. Yeah, Good. Yeah. Oh, well, please tell them the phone number. Okay, okay. Uh, is everybody ready to take some calls? Phone number. Yeah. Your phone number is 212-757-1393. Yes. That's a handsome set of numbers. Yes. Oh, now be off. I love this crowd. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well. Uh, what a delight it is here. It's so nice to see so many young faces here. Uh, I'm sure you all appreciate the art of comedy like I do. Um, as you may know, I am a star of screen and stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it is truly the stage where I'm a Viking, and I'm not just talking about the Viking trader in Ripsy Korskopf's opera Sadko. <laughs> um, uh, Stand-up comedy is, uh, is something new to me, so uh, if, if, you, if I could beg your indulgence, you could let me try out this art form for the first time, uh, and, and be kind. <laughs> All right. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I will start off with some observational humor, something that the average Joe could hear and uh, be like, oh, I've been there. So I was recently talking, I was recently talking to my agent, 
<laughs> and she offered me a role in a disaster. I believe it was a DreamWorks uh, computer animated cartoon where I would, get this, be playing a uh, rat <laughs> that lives in garbage. <sighs> so I told that bitch, if you want a rat that lives in garbage, why don't you get John Lithgow for the role? <laughs> right? Okay, maybe some Lithgow fans in the crowd. Uh, um, Next, I'm going to do some topical humor. Uh, we've all heard about the, the stranglings that have been happening all across New York City. It's very upsetting. And um, I just have to say that uh, it's a serious talk. Uh, any of the victims that are watching, or <laughs> families of the victims, I don't mean to, to jest about this, but um, when I did hear that there is a strangler going across New York City, I said, oh no, Camille's in town, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, yes, on fire, all right. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do a little political humor. Um, bear with me, a, a communist, a socialist, <laughs> and a Muslim walk into a bar. The bartender says, hello, Mr. President. <laughs> Fair enough, there's a doubtful. I, I didn't realize this is such a blue crowd. Little state that is. Um, Next, I'm going to do a little crowd work. I believe we have some callers. Uh, first off, uh, Woody in Rochester. You're on the you're on the line. I'm listening. Uh, hello, Kelsey. I'm listening. Uh, Kelsey, when we get back together with BB? I'm, I'm when sorry. We get to see a Willis and Fraser reunion. Oh well, uh, I believe you're talking about the very talented BB Newworth. Give her a hand. I am. I am. You're great. Well, you know, we still talk all the time. We're very good friends. However, I believe the character of Fraser is uh, dead and buried. No, <laughs> that no, is, don't unless tell Dr. That. Pepper gives, uh, gives me a call again. <laughs> don't say that. Thank you for your Come call. On, man. That's <laughs> we have Joe in New Jersey. I'm listening. Hey, Chelsea, big fan. Hi. Hey, so do you still keep in touch with David Hyde Pierce at all? And are you ever going to do any uh, any plans to do maybe like a stage production or something? Well, once again, you know, I would love to work with the talented David Hyde Pierce, despite our very public falling out. <laughs> uh, there are no plans in the works, but uh, David, if you are watching, uh, feel free to give me a call. I would love to catch up. Thank oh, you for I had calling. no idea. I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> well, let's just say jealousy is a very ugly trait. And when one person continues to star in films such as Transformers, X-Men, and the other uh, does off-Broadway plays, uh, its ugly head can rear. Uh, next, we have Braden in Washington. Hello, Braden. I'm listening. Uh, hey, Kelsey. Um, I Right off the bat, I want to confess that I've never seen uh, Cheers or Frasier. Well, they're both on Netflix, please. Have you seen Boss? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, How about Partners? A... Have you seen Partners? I've never even heard of that. Raven, these, do you own this a on TV? <laughs> it's just like... Uh, it's, it stars me and Martin Lawrence as buddy cops. It's a real, it's a real laugh riot, a real hood. I'd really suggest you seek it out. Is that what you're calling about? Look, I'm going to be honest. That sounds terrible. Uh, what I'm calling about is to tell you that uh, that John Lithgow joke was on point. That was great. <laughs> Seriously, no, I mean, fuck John Lithgow. That well, was awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, if you like more of that, uh, if continue to watch the show and check out uh, Cheers, Frasier, Boss, Partners. Uh, 
there was a show I did with uh, the wife from. Do you have a show where you yeah. just like say mean things about John Lithgow? <laughs> <laughs> well, it it might end up being this show. Uh, we got line one, John in Brooklyn. I'm listening. Hi, Cal. It is I. <laughs> Is it true you were supposed to be the original voice of Shrek? <laughs> I was supposed to be the voice that John Lithgow <laughs> got. <laughs> you know what, I think we should end, end the calls. Um, how, uh, what, does anyone in here, uh, 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 you, you, madam, uh, what, what, where do you live? In Jersey. In Jersey City, where is that? Uh, across the Hudson. Oh, I've never been. <laughs> Bob, what do you do for a living? Um, I uh, I run a music archive. A music archive. Yeah, you wouldn't. It's not like an acting thing, so you probably wouldn't. Oh, but I I dabble in all sorts of oh. art forms. <laughs> Maybe you've seen La Casa au Fall. <laughs> uh, so you run an archive. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what that entails. Uh, this is not going to work. <laughs> uh, would you actually mind joining me on stage? <laughs> what was your name again? My name is Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Uh, well, uh, we are the Cheyenne players. Uh, may we have a suggestion, please? <laughs> <laughs> Clown College. I heard Clown College. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Clown College. That's excellent. Where is the Clown College? Please sit down. <laughs> I had no idea I would be calling up a saboteur. <laughs> Once a year, the Grandma family convenes on my palatial Malibu estate. My Aunt Betty brings her famous chicken pot pie. My Uncle Robert brings his famous tiramisu cake. And my Grandma May, well, she's just happy to be alive one year <laughs> again to see the whole family reconvene. We laugh, we talk about sad times and happy times and reminisce. The end of the brunch, Uncle Eddie, he brings home the uh, leftover chicken pot pie and uh, Uncle Billy, he uh, actually takes home the leftover tiramisu cake and Grandma May, well, she gets a ride home. <laughs> but at the end of every brunch, I am left with the same quandary. I just don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. <laughs> I call it again. Jerry Paper, take it away.
Thank you for that, Jerry. No problem. Um, I'd like to thank you for filling last minute. I thought Kevin Eubanks would be available, and he was not. It's fine. My schedule's really, really clear. Uh, what I asked you to be band leader, I expected a band. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I would have liked to see that string section live, but that was a... <laughs> was a fine performance. If people uh, liked what they heard, you have a new album out called Carousel. Indeed. And uh, where can we see you next performing live? Uh, June 12th at uh, Rough Trade uh, in Brooklyn. I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing, uh, <laughs> dancing around, <laughs> singing. Uh, well, I'll be there. Yeah, Kelsey Barrow's going to be there. <laughs> I, I don't often go into Brooklyn. Uh, our first guest tonight, uh, 
One of them is a very good friend of mine, and the rest I can't wait to meet. Uh, please welcome the band Corporal. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Well, uh, how are you, Michael? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the socks are amazing. Holy oh, shit, where are those socks? Oh, uh, it's like a frog hugging my leg. <laughs> <laughs> they're really, they're really cheap. It's not, it's not Jerry's time. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, cousin. I so, Corporal. Your socks are nice, too. Thank you very much. I kind of uh, like to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we know each other. We've yeah. uh, worked at the Barrel Street Theater a little bit together. Mm. <laughs> uh, but you guys, it is uh, my first time meeting you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the band and the formation? Uh, you started in 2002, is that correct? Not, not, not oh, wait, entirely should I correct. introduce everybody first? Uh, fine. He's on? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this is Rob, and that's Ray, and that's Dave. <laughs> so now you know Kelsey, Rob, Ray, and Dave. It's pleasant to meet you fellows. Now, do you actually play instruments, or do you just kind of dance around? <laughs> Not, not as well as some. That's, it, that's fine. Oh, he's sauntering if, back. If only I had a kimono. Can I borrow that? No, uh, you don't have anything on underneath it. I don't want him to it. take it off. No, yeah, it's, a, it's like, it's pretty cold in here. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a bit about the formation of the band. How did you meet? Were you all college chums? <laughs> Uh, we were doing a play about a rock and roll band, and then uh, we uh, formed one, right? Maybe that's about it. Yeah. I mean, so Dave wasn't in the play, but the three of us were in the play. That's so you're right. all, uh, you come from an acting background, like moi. <laughs> uh, me and yeah. Rob do. Ray is actually a straight up kind of musician that came into I can tell by his facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> but a very good actor. On the left. Yeah, yeah. Which is amazing because it's really hard to do acting. It takes a lot of some would say ability. I can urinate for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. That's his. It's true. It's true. It, it's it, stuff. It, it is true. During the play, Ray urinated for a surprisingly long period of time, and there were performances when I would be sitting on the couch for long before that in the play and uh, realized that I had to urinate. And by the time Ray started urinating about 45 minutes after that, it was torture. <laughs> were you urinating in the play itself? Was that on stage urination? No, it was on in a drum. <laughs> uh, a, dr a drum that was on You can't stage. urinate into a play. <laughs> You, 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 can, you can urinate on a play, but you can't urinate. You still have not answered my question. How did you, how did you get together? So you were all actors. What, what, what started the, the, the band? Well, Mike called me one day, and he's like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. We had played music together when we made the play, and so we got together. Uh, so this is the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, it started out as a two-piece, just me and Ray. Okay. Kind of like the uh, Black Stripe, or whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, uh, and then, um, and then it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. So we added a uh, Rob to the mix, and then. Uh, and then we became like Keebler Elves, kind of vibe. <laughs> if is there a uh, if if we were to define the bands by their or by define the members by your attributes, uh, what would they? Which be? I often do. Yes. <laughs> well, who is the cute one? Who is the funny one? <laughs> I think both of those are Dave. You're the cute one. You're the cute one. Very oh. handsome. <laughs> Pass him the okay, and you're the smart one. 
I played the bass. <laughs> Wild card. <laughs> High cholesterol one. <laughs> and I suppose you are the double threat. <laughs> You haven't seen him dance. I dance for me. <laughs> no. Go on. Well, no. then uh, he was lying. You're a double threat. <laughs> I can dance. I'm the one. I don't know if you've seen me in Finding Neverland. I do a little uh, two-step as Captain Hook. It's that's something to see. To, uh, <laughs> so uh, people know this is Michael Shannon, the actor. I didn't credit you because we're not talking about your roles, um, and I care not to. Um, Let's not talk about my roles. Let's talk about my buns. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo. Well, I, I admire that uh, you, you do so much. I think it's so impressive, and Someday, if you keep working at it, you may be the uh, six-time Emmy winner that I am. <laughs> the Academy Award nominee. Right, right, right. No, I didn't cross the finish line there. You got that right. But I'm still alive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think it's time that you uh, all leave the stage and perform. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I think it's a bit, people are having a bit of a laugh at me, I feel. I, there are jokes I'm missing, apparently. It's, uh, it's all a little uh, infuriating. So Ladies and gentlemen. You're tired. It's hard to do the show and then come here and do this, right? It's hard to do the show and come here and do this, yes. <laughs> I'm not a double threat like you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corporal. Reasons I'm always running out of order in the coldly manner of speaking I'll turn the other cheek to cheek. Man. 
It's fine. You can really sing. Thank you. But can you sing? All right. Uh, our next guest, uh, she's an old friend as well. Uh, she is the star of a uh, new TNT drama. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Rosalind Dyke. Hello. Hello. Wow. Don't, don't. It's no. fine. How are you? How yes. Are you? Oh, How yes. Are you? How's it going? Oh, Hi, it's everybody. good. It's been, it's uh, been too long. It's been way too long. Oh, what was yes. the last time? Montauk or? Yeah, I believe it was Montauk, yes. Monkey uh, the last time. I stopped going. Mm -hmm. How was the Hamptons this weekend? The moon. <laughs> <laughs> the moon in the Hamptons this weekend. I. On my drive back to the city, I wrote a poem about it. Mm. And I can't find the goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Oh, oh, the 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 absent-minded actress. Michael, I used to nurse you when you were a baby. <laughs> you were I, a very very brief, <laughs> very very brief period of time. You teethed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We're a wet nurse, as I recall. Yeah, that's one word for it. <laughs> so we're old friends. We go back, we go back decades, uh, two and a half, I believe. We, About, yeah. We worked on a pilot together in uh, the early 80s. In Hollywood. In Hollywood, <laughs> California. And it was, it was a good pilot. It didn't go anywhere. Did not go anywhere. It, you know what, they couldn't figure out what it was, you know? No one could really understand what it was going for, mm -hmm. who the characters were. Yes. And that I, you know, Location. we embraced yes. that chaos. Absolutely. But I think the public said, Bleh! I mean, I was coming out of experimental theater at the time. I found it mm. very exciting. Mm. But you've got a new show, and it does have a plot. It does I have, do. it's, it's called Guardian. Uh, you can see it on TNT. Three episodes in, it stars it stars me and a very good friend of James Spader's, and uh, I can't <laughs> place his name right now. Mm. Um, but I, I'm a I'm a I'm a regular woman who uses um, I like to say it's a gift, uh, a paranormal gift, and I have a guardian angel who helps me solve unresolved crimes. So, you know, I take over when the detective hangs up his hat. I come in, my guardian angel speaks to me. He talks about what the perpetrators of the crimes are doing, the details, and then he communicates to me, and I communicate that to the police, or sometimes I take it into my own hands. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is complicated. Well, I, I, I think it's a great idea for a show. Mm. Uh, I, I love your performance. I've only seen the ads, but the performances well, are... Well, the ads are really intense. the best part. And the thing they always say is, these stories are ripped from the headlines. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, the last, the last episode we did was uh, based on the 
devastating, uh, horrifying strangler <laughs> occurrences that are just, you know, I can't, I'm glued to the TV. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I, it, my heart stops about 20 minutes every 20 minutes, um, <laughs> and I'm just in complete shock and trauma. So well, you, you need to relax first, drink up. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, this is actually from 81. I'm gonna throw a date out at you. Okay. June 17th, uh -huh. 1981. I, don't, I need another clue here with, with okay. these, uh, textures, uh, give me textures. <laughs> <laughs> Rip Torn's estate. Okay. In Napa Valley. <laughs> this one had a lot of this. You were drunk as a skunk. When, when I look at you, the world rings true. And, and the, the whole, whole world laughs at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. That's the thing about music. It mm -hmm. never dies. It stays with you. Do you remember what happened at the end of the night? Uh, Barbara Streisand took her shirt off. <laughs> and then... I... Allow me to paint a scene for you. The, uh, the, the moon had come up so far that the sun was coming up. <laughs> Everyone had retired home and... Some people had just passed out indoors, but you and I, we were still uh, pounding them, and we were, we were a little tipsy. Right, I can remember now. <laughs> mm -hmm. We entered the boudoir, <laughs> and uh, the passion was as furious as Tristan and his old age. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Mistakes were made. Mm. Um, Gondom-based mistakes. <laughs> I, 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 I really don't want to talk about that. I, I want to move on to my new thing. My new thing, um, everybody, is I have a website. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a website because I discovered I have a gift. I have a guardian angel <laughs> named Ian, and he tells me information about crimes, <laughs> unresolved crimes. This is on your show, so you're talking Guardian. No, 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 no. TNT. No, 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 no I'm, yeah. talking, I'm talking about r reality, real life. I, I didn't, no! <laughs> and um, so, what I do on this website is I give information. I, I, I've solved many a crime, and I'm no confused. one looks Wait, at so this website. In, re <laughs> in, in reality, you also have a guardian angel like the character in your show. But it's completely separate. That It didn't even sprung. It just happened to be coincidences. So there's a mirror image. Go so you're talking to this guardian angel and you're solving crimes. Exactly. And I'm putting this information out on my website. And no one, you know, Amanda Knox, Jean Benet Ramsey, okay, ring a bell. <laughs> it's all there. I get, I tear out my hair because people are saying, I wonder who did it, you know, and I know. <laughs> so just go to the website and. <sighs> so where, where, what is this website? If you Google my name <laughs> and then website, um, <laughs> I, I don't know the toolbar address, but there it's twenty six <laughs> it's twenty six ninety nine for four days, and then after that it goes up, but you get four days of ten for ten dollars if you punch in this HTML code, which is two one seven three five zero zero. I'm just here, have another drink. I'm just gonna toss out a hypothetical at you. I've got my palatial Malibu estate. Would you, I mean, the, the audience, it's for the audience, really. Uh, they, they can tense the, the sexual tension. It's about, <laughs> would you like to come to my Malibu estate for a weekend? We relive old memories. I, yeah, I really think it was just a mistake. So no, 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 no. Come on, you want to see this, right? I... Right? <laughs> right? Oh, right on the body, yes. It's a really good website. Just imagine that touching. I have a Comic Sans font <laughs> in the first part, and then it goes Why into Why are you rejecting my advances? I'm not re I'm... 
Listen, grams. It just never was gonna work, and I can't keep taking your calls. Well, I don't see why not. They're great calls. <laughs> I know you like to sing, but you know. I love to sing. Is there someone else? There has been for the past 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. He's your best friend. He's my best friend. Oh, come on. I'm not doing this here. There's a website. Is it Rip? <laughs> Are you fucking Rip Torn? <laughs> I want to throw this at you, but I don't have the goal. <laughs> Fine. Well, uh, it's a good thing that you have a guardian angel because there is a strangler on the loose, and <laughs> I'm uh, glad you'll be safe. <laughs> Ian will protect me. Oh, Ian will protect you. Yeah. Uh, fine, great. Uh, good luck with Ian. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's another song from Corporal. <laughs> really embarrassed. I got a cat in the closet who's afraid of the rain. I can't stand for the sunshine. He's kind of a pain. I sat him down in my lap one day. I said, the life you live is a crime. He just purred and stared at me. He said, give me some jail time. Come on, man, I can really use it to collect my dots and connect the dots. Yeah, it's the perfect solution. Give me some jail time. Come on, man, rehabilitate me. Accelerates, but he cannot steer. He just lost a weekend that lasted several years. He came by my house and said he needed something to climb. I said, Let me take a look around. But in the meantime, maybe you should build it. I got a ball of string and one eye beam. Yeah, it's pretty slim pickings. But in the meantime, you should reach. Your objectives. Pull it over. them, huh? Probably like Michael, huh? Was anybody that I'm friends with you? I knew him when he was a baby! <laughs> <laughs> See that, Jerry? Full band. Drummer. Yeah. Guitar. Uh, guitar. Mandolin. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, can, uh, can only really afford the pedal. Our next
next guest <laughs> is a, uh, you know, we talk about the hero's journey. I'm a big fan of, of heroes, and sometimes heroes are larger than life, like Perseus or Heracles. But other times, <laughs> they are an everyday hero, uh, a hero citizen, and we have one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, Glenn Jacobs. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm really strong. How you doing, pal? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me, Kelsey. This that is such an honor to be on your show. Oh, it's an honor to have you on, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> so tell me, man. Uh, you saved the day. Is that correct? I don't know if I really saved the day. I mean, I was just kind of in the, the right place at the wrong time. But uh, you're being coy. Uh, uh, you saved someone's life. Is that correct? I, I think, yeah. I mean, it looks like that. It looks that way. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I did save a. I did so, save a woman's life. Well, let, let, let's just let's stop skipping around it. Uh, let's set the scene. It's a it's a, uh, a a brisk spring evening in Central Park West End. Yeah, it was last Friday. I was uh, <laughs> I had just gotten off of my job. I was working. Wait, where late. do you work? The docks. Yeah. No, no, I'm a data analyst for a communications firm. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I was, walking th I was walking my dog through Central Park, and I heard um, a, scream a, a, fem a woman screaming. And uh, I, had a, I had a little bit of CPR training in high school. So, you know, I just, I thought maybe she was hurt. I didn't know. So I ran over, and I saw what I guess is the assailant was uh, just had his hands around her throat. <gasps> And I, uh, I just kind of barreled into him. He fell over. You know, she fell down. I kind of, I looked at her. I saw that her face was blue. She had a little blood in her nose. So I worried about her. But when I looked up, he was already in the distance. So I just, I called the, I called the NYPD. And uh, you know, luckily Rose, that's her name, Rose. She's 92 years old. Oh. She's okay. She's okay. So. Wow. But I, I reject the label of, I reject the label of hero. Now tell me, okay. how do you know that? He was the assailant. How do you know he was not just defending himself? <laughs> I don't think. Are you joking? New York City is a crazy place. <laughs> it's true, but I mean, she was a 92 year old woman. She was on a walker. He broke the walker. And how did he look? What did he look like? What did he look like? Um, he's about probably about 5'8, uh, average build, uh, kind of a little paunchy in the middle. Mm. Um, well, you, you're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it takes one to know one, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, he was definitely, sm definitely not too strong. I mean, I just kind of threw him, and he just kind of went. Uh, he just went. No fight was put up. Uh, no, he didn't fight. He ran away. <laughs> he ran Coward. away. <laughs> Scumbag. Coward. Yeah. Scumbag. Scumbag. Yes. Yeah. Well, what, what, what did he look like facially? I. Unfortunately, I didn't see his face. So you didn't see his face. Now, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. How are we to believe this even happened? How do we know, how do we know that you weren't the assailant? Because if you are the only person I was not, there. She, I mean, Rose clearly said that I wasn't the assailant. I, I'm, a, a, a woman that had just been choked uh, would say anything to stop the choking. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I gave my I gave my statement to the police, and you know, hopefully they're gonna catch this guy. Uh, you know, they kind of they're saying that it might be the strangler from L.A. Now he's in New York. Oh Michael, you were recently in L.A. Is that correct? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, you know, my guardian angel, Ian. <sighs> Great. I feel his presence near you, and I know that he was with you that night, and. I think you're the closest thing we have to this horrible, horrible person. Oh. Well, that's well, all poppycock. Um, <laughs> look, uh, uh, I, 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 it's an honor to have you on. If you were truly the hero that you say you were, it's, uh, it's quite I the, don't say I'm a hero. It's quite the honor, but we have to run to commercial. We're running over time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jerry Paper, why don't you take us to the commercials? I'm over to the village square I heard the bikers brought this back Heard they hit as bad as can be Shining hard on the violent fantasy 
So this uh, is a time in the show where I thought uh, we had a, a, a fourth guest scheduled, but I'm nixing them. Uh, I've noticed that uh, we have the double threat over here, and we have Mr. Karaoke King, and we've got uh, the, the crazy and the liar. Sean, <laughs> uh, allegedly. Uh, but uh, you know, I am a bit of a double threat myself. You know. Uh, as you know, I am the star of uh, Le Cage aux Fall, uh, so, so many musicals, and um, it would be unfair if I didn't do a double K, a uh, Kelsey classic for you good <laughs> folks tonight. Would you like to hear that? Yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do is it's, a, it's just a little sing-along, you know, something that you could all join in. It's a big uh, collaboration between a performer, an audience, a, a cultural badinage, if you will. Uh, we're going to perform something that we all know and love. Uh, let's say a little ditty called The Galard Canary from Arthur Reynolds' adaptation of Moliere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, can you all see me? I'm just going to hop up here. All right. And follow my lead, all right? And a one and a two and he considers himself a bourgeois gentleman. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> cold blue. Yeah. <laughs> Picking on home over here. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>